It's a great day here in barbecue land. We're here barbecuing in uh, Ryan, Arkansas. Benton, Arkansas. Uh -huh. Benton, we're in Benton, Arkansas. We're barbecuing, we're having a good time. We're all set and ready to go. We're gonna go win. That's why we're here. Okay. Bingo! Hey, Andy. Yeah. Have a great day. I am. How about you? Uh, yeah. Good. Hi, Ray Ray. What up, Ray? Hi, okay, Chicken. Okay. See, isn't that awesome? There we is. And there will be a lot of fireworks. Here's the parsley. Bingo! Bingo! The man on a mission. Give it to God. BBQ. So we're doing the car wash thing, we gotta pay attention, this is fun. Colors and stuff, and we're going through the car wash. It is a dummy deep. There we go. It is a dummy deep. Ladies and gentlemen, I have uh, one of the nation's leading diabetes uh, education experts, <laughs> and she's uh, She's eating her well-made sandwich. Can you talk to us a little bit about the, the diabetes sugar impact of what you're eating this afternoon? The sugar impact about what I'm eating this afternoon. Yes. Walk us through the sugar uh, reaction content of the tomatoes uh, against the cheese, up against the mayonnaise. <laughs> and how does that all affect the insulin quality level of the pump operation uh, today? The great thing is the only thing that counts yeah. The only thing you have to worry about raising your sugar in this meal yeah. is the bread, the chips, and the cookie. That's it. Uh, That's other it. than bread, chips, and cookie, uh, you pretty much got styrofoam. How does styrofoam uh, impact the, your, your sugar con, your sugar count? I want to know is, is, is uh, in general, uh, your children, how, how, are they, how are they behaving as far as cleaning up in the trailer? <laughs> they don't know how to clean it all. Yeah, so who ends up cleaning it up? They did this time, but yeah. usually it's mom. Yeah. Mom cleans up after everyone. Yeah, but you yell at them because I got scared. I was going to go in there and start cleaning up. <laughs> Can't help it. Went into teacher mode. And now now most people in, in other parts of the country would call that sausage. It's just a vernacular thing we got going on here. It's, that's white beans. It will be. It will be. It will be. That's, what we need to do is that's a time love. Lapse. That's part of the love. What we need to do is a time lapse from now. When I open it later, it's okay. going to be the love. The love. The love's love. right now. This we, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who made your sandwich? My wife did. Yeah. She doesn't care about your sugar count, does she? Just, we got the beans in there. What are we making here, Chef? Making some uh, Cajun jambalaya. Yeah. Not is there another kind of jambalaya besides Cajun? Jambalaya, which is a no-no. No-no. You don't right. call it. Not jambalaya. It's jambalaya. Yeah. So I've been taught okay. and told. Sure. 
Bupke, what's going on? Oh, just hanging out here, watching things. Um, I'm I'm sort of glad that I'm over here stuck on the trailer because that means I can't help make parsley boxes, um, which is always a good thing. And Bup, I I gotta ask you something. Um, Marie, I saw her pajamas. Um, well, aren't we at a barbecue contest? I mean, where were the flannels? And, I, I don't know, I feel underdressed. I'm going inside. Bye. <laughs> the horn is blowing. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Here in uh, Bryan, Arkansas. And uh, what a blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for letting me, letting me be here. Thank you, Lord, for letting me do barbecue. Thank you, Lord, for letting me just be a part of this great sport, this great community. And uh, I love you, Lord, and I thank you, and I pray for all the contestants here. And everybody's out here cooking. I just pray that they uh, they see you in a way that they haven't seen it before, and maybe take another look and get serious about surrendering to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, and uh, I thank you for my bookie. You know, who's at home, and uh, what a wonderful wonderful deal you know because she is uh she is without a doubt my best friend the best friend i ever could have imagined having and uh and more than i could ever imagine because she came from god for me and uh, you know when you have friends um it's really a cool deal uh the article i wrote for barbecue times next month uh, focuses on friends and um you know, the whole deal of professional barbecue is like a magnet uh, to bring people together who have like passions and interests. And um, it doesn't take much and it doesn't take long to forge friendships. <laughs> and then they get started here and they're nurtured here and they grow here uh, at these competitions. And, you know, people that I see, Candy Weaver and Smoke Me Silly, Robert and Lex, and uh, Debbie and Tom, and uh, Fire Dancer, Eric and his wife and family, and uh, Hogtide Crew, and uh, you know, I mean, it just goes on and on. Um, people that I see, and then hanging out with, you know, uh, Matthew and Tara and the girls, and Andy and Marie and Sarah, and I mean, but what a blessing, what a blessing, you know, because God allows us to uh, to enjoy these times uh, together. Uh, and for me, what I'm so convinced of is uh, that the trigger uh, to God pouring out his blessings is obedience to him. When when we become obedient, not just kinda, but we're talking about surrender. You know, people say surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Well, that means you know what? He calls all the shots. When we get to that spot and we truly understand that he's Lord, he's king, and, and we serve him, um, he knows better than we do what we like. He knows better than we do what we need. And he is the best father you could ever imagine. He is the father of fathers. Uh, he's extremely wealthy, extremely generous, and loves to spoil his children who follow and obey him. 
And so I'm learning that and I'm seeing that in my life. Y'all see me uh, all over the country um, because uh, I made the decision to be obedient to him and, and tell people about him and do his work. And that's my focus. That's my, that's my focus. That's my joy. That's my uh, mission. And I've never felt more content, more happy, more at peace, more focused, um, and more blessed. So that's my story. And uh, we're having a great time. And we'll cook. We'll see how it goes. But uh, as always, the, the grand champion is uh, very significant on one level. But uh, the work for Jesus uh, is a completely different plane of importance and significance um, to each of our lives. So, ask, I will ask again, um, if you haven't completely surrendered your life to Jesus, given Jesus your whole heart, um, hey, right now, today, would be a great time to do that, and, and you don't need anybody other than you and God to make that happen and surrender and tell Him, commit to Him, that you're going to be obedient to Him from here on forever forward and uh, ask for his forgiveness and he will give it graciously and commit your life because it's the it's the most important decision you're ever going to make and and you'll be judged in heaven um whether or not you made that decision and followed through on it so god bless you god bless you god bless you have a great day and uh if you haven't done it um you know what are you waiting for and if you haven't barbecued in a while, hey, get your grill out and cook something, would you? God bless you. Have a great day. Awareness, liberty. <clears throat> there he is, flying swine pit master. We never, we never said that liberty owners are the best looking, but th they can cook. There is no greater level of respect that I can have for a barbecue cook than this man right here. He is what he is the toughest man in barbecue, right there. And I have the proof. I have it on video. That's right. You heard it. You heard it. Straight from the man. <laughs> Still here, man. Still here. Still here. Rock it out. Isn't it pretty? Snow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Pro Barbecue. That's it, baby. That's it, baby. That's some beautiful barbecue. It's your money.